know that you'll probably be in for some Coach of the Year honors this year due to your very fine season. How does it feel to have the first real unbeaten, undefeated team since 1914 at WNL? Well, it's a mighty good feeling, Joe. We feel uh, real good about the season. Uh, we have a bunch of real fine boys, and uh, there's no other way to describe it. It's just a real good feeling. We uh, saw your first game of the season when you barely edged Hampton, Sydney. Now, the Tigers didn't go on to much of a year, while you seem to get stronger each week. Uh, how do you account for the difference, Coach? Well, that's hard to say what happens to a team and makes them keep on getting stronger. Actually, I thought we started getting stronger in the second half of that game, and uh, uh, our defense held up real well in the second half of that first game, and it looked like it just took over from there and went on. And, we did have depth, and uh, if the boy was injured, it, it didn't hurt us as much as possibly it would have hurt Hampton Sydney. Well, sir, Washington Lee was far behind in his last game with Washington University. Now, uh, what made the boys come back? They were tired because I understand they hadn't had any sleep, but uh, were they able to get up on themselves by themselves? Yes, I think so. Uh, it, it was a matter of, uh, of, even though they were tired and, and flat from uh, from. Uh, lack of sleep, the uh, fact that we had a lot of boys to throw in and kept kept their first team uh, fresh until the fourth quarter, and then they were ready to go to work in the second half, and especially in the fourth quarter. Well, Coach McLaughlin, you, like most of the other members of your profession, uh, don't like to sound too happy from week to week about the uh, opposition that shapes up, but... Do you think there was any turning point to your team this year when you knew yourself probably you would go undefeated? Joe, we, uh, we harbor that little secret desire all the time that we will go undefeated, and we felt that, uh, I don't know whether you could call a turning point or not. If it was a turning point, I'd say it's the day that I talked to Terry Foss about coming to Washington League. <laughs> uh, how about this is one thing that's never really been considered under the... Uh, uh, de-emphasized athletic program at WNL. What, what are the chances perhaps for a bowl bid or a minor bowl for Washington right now? We haven't been bothered much about bowls through the years, Joe, as you know. Uh, I don't know how Washington would feel about it. I know that uh, there haven't been any feelers. There aren't many bowls for small colleges, and I just couldn't answer the question because I don't really know. No, I've discussed it with no one at Washington League. Now how about next year, Lee? How do you think the generals will do? You lose some 20 seniors. Well, I think we're going to do all right. We, we uh, won't have the depth and spades that we have this year, but we have some mighty fine boys back. We lose about 18 seniors, and, uh, and there will probably be uh, some other small attrition. We hope not too much, but uh, we, uh, we're looking forward to next year. It'll be a different squad and a different team, and we hope they'll do well. Thank you very much, Coach Lee McLaughlin of Washington.